what is going on guys all right so i'm hearing your cinderella story just begun and i'm sitting here because i got these pretty sandals but it's only one it's only one sandal down here and it's one up here look <laughs> like the shoe finally fits all right you know how people say if the shoe fits wear it well in this case we're talking about cinderella all right we're talking about your cinderella story we're talking about a rare size i'm hearing your shoe size is cute it's rare all right um it's it's small maybe or a lot of people can't fit your shoes a lot of people can't walk in your shoes if you know what i mean a lot of people can't do what you do let alone walk in them okay but the story all right and your season that you're in is your cinderella story it's your cinderella season all right so god is saying all right this is all for entertainment purposes only all right this is as a guide all right not to tell you what to do all right it's what's to unfold and what's to come this is a season of your Cinderella story, your Cinderella season, meaning you will be embedded in your femininity, all right? A lot of the things and the privileges, whew, speak spirit, the privileges that you have access to, that you will be receiving that has been anointed over you this season, a lot of girls want, a lot of girls want to wear your shoe. A lot of girls want to be in your position right now. They want to be in your position in love. They want to be in your position in success. They want to be, be in your position as in family. All right. You are really getting prince, princess treatment. All right. And this story of this princess lifestyle. All right. It fits. Your shoe fits that. All right. Okay, let's talk about that. Let's talk about how we are investing into the right things. Let's talk about how our shoes finally fit our story. Okay, so this is the season of you being a princess. Um, this is your Cinderella season. All right, this is your Cinderella season where you finally found your glass slipper. You finally found... Um, the energy where you can be comfortable, all right? Again, embedded in your feminine energy. I'm also hearing passenger princess, all right? So your movements, all right? Your route, you ain't, you ain't gonna have to touch the wheel. What, what, um, uh, what, what Tyler said? Um, hold on, what she said? She said something about, I don't even touch a wheel. I got a chauffeur, all right? So whoever you with driving you around, they love to be a personal chauffeur. They don't want you to get your feet dirty. They love your feet. It's something about your feet. They might have a feet fetish. All right. But this story of being Cinderella finally fits. All right. It finally fits the position you're in. It finally fits the state of consciousness that you are in. Baby. Ooh, love is here. Okay. All right, give me more on this energy. Archangel Michael and the leg wall, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras, please. As we tap into this Cinderella story for my princesses out there, okay? That's going to be given everything. All right? There you go. Justice is in your favor. All right? There are a lot of men, all right, or a specific man that has made a decision that they are not reconsidering, all right? And the decision is fairness. The decision is protection. The decision is providing. The decision is going all in with you. The decision is committing, all right? This is justice, all right? Also, if somebody was having any type of legal problems, all right, any type of law or court cases, all right, justice is in your favor because of the decisions that you are making and not breaking. When the swords are down, that means that the decision is final. When the swords are up, it's room for negotiation. All 
Okay. All right. So justice. Justice is on your favor on your side. All right. Justice is in your favor. Okay. People are finally defending you and not folding. All right. Somebody is finally in your corner and trusting you. You know, when a blindfold is on, this is somebody trusting their intuition. This is somebody just having faith. Okay. So, Spirit, give me more on this justice. Give me more on this princess season. I'm hearing karmic justice. Spirit, give me more on this energy for my everything and what they should be expecting and to unfold. There you go. There you go. Family. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say this person? All right. Has made a decision to commit to a family. All right. They are meant to. They are committing to providing. All right. This is somebody that wants to be here. This is somebody that wants to be around children. This is somebody that feels um, calm and creative and happy around y'all family. Okay. So this could be a extended family. This could be immediate family. All right. But it's surrounding you. All right. As the mother, as the father, okay, everybody in this picture is smiling, ear to ear, all right? When you look at this picture, don't you feel like, oh, my gosh, uh, I want to be a part of this, really? <laughs> they look so happy, everybody. They don't even look like they faking. Kids don't fake. They will get in that picture, and your, their face will tell exactly how they feel. <laughs> Kids are brutally honest. If they do not like your person, they, it will show. Okay? Everybody getting treated nice. All right? Happy wife, happy life. Okay? I told you. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, give me roses. All right, you want dinner tonight? Give me roses. All right, that ain't hard to ask. All right. Oh, you want this throat? Give me roses. <laughs> All right. Oh, you want this good box? Give me roses. All right. Somebody knows what you want. This is Devon. This is princess. All right. Somebody not going out and buying you a bottle of liquor. All right. Somebody going out buying you a bottle of wine. Okay. Period. All right. Somebody not going out and taking you to the strip club and all of this stuff. Somebody getting you flowers, all right? So you could put right on your counter somewhere, all right? To sh express your divine feminine energy, all right? Express how you getting treated, all right? By your good-looking, strong, protective man, all right? That's Steph on the hoe, okay? So, yeah, this is princess treatment. Look, look how much children, y'all. Y'all about to have, in my other reading, it said that this man is going to value you so much. Like, they're going to be happy with your pregnancy and stuff like that. They're just going to want to keep getting you pregnant. Well, guess what? This is princess treatment. After It's like, have more kids and you get treated like a princess more. Like, I just want you to be a mom and a house. You could be a housewife. A housewife where all you got to do is have children and cook. And, oh, and, and you locked in. All you got to do. Literally is be divine. Get, stop. Literally as divine feminine energies. When we talking about our soft girl era, we are talking about nothing that would take us out of our femininity. So nothing. Okay. All you need to do is be like um, in your, your Taurus energy like that, that mothering, nurturing being able to have your wound clear. So that means like eating right because this man want kids. All right. You finally found a man that want a lot of kids and that wants to be present in y'all lives. All right. Hint, y'all lives. All right. It's something about having a lot of kids with you. Okay. And in order for you to be happy like this and your children happy. All right. Um. You got to feel like a princess. You got to want to keep spitting these babies out, right? So let me tell you, princess treatment, as long as you keep cooking and having these babies and being happy, as long as you keep showing 
your love and you feeling emotionally, mentally, physically, financially fulfilled, that's what make that's what they're gonna keep making decisions. All right, they're gonna keep making the decisions that is best for y'all as a whole because they want to be the decision maker. You see how you taking care, see the justice card? It's authority. It's like in a position of power. It's like what he says goes, okay? But in order for you to trust a man, he has to be leading correctly. He has to be providing and protecting for you and your family. That has to be shown, all right, before you have all of these children, all right? This man is showing you that he's bringing justice in your life, all right, that he don't need to, he already knows what y'all need. All right, this man is not too much in on taking advice. He know how to protect his family. All right, he know how to make decisions and not fold on them. He knows what's best. And that's because you happy. If you weren't happy, he knew that he would know that the decision that he's making, it's not fair. It's not right. It's, it's something wrong. You keep having these babies. You keep extending your family. All right, y'all might even adopt. Y'all might even adopt. This is how you got somebody that loves children. You got somebody that is leading and making the right decisions. Because if he wasn't, you wouldn't be like this. Literally, this is being embedded in your divine. This is love. This man loves you. He loves making decisions for you and the family. He loves that you allow him to do that. Do you know that a man loves that? A lot of men don't have no say-so. A lot of men do not have the same type of say-so that the woman has in the family or with the kids. All right? But in this energy, yes, he do. Actually, he does wear the pants. All right? My man wear the pants in here. Why would I want to wear the pants? <laughs> Why would I want to wear the pants if, if a man is in here? <laughs> so this is, you honor that. The decisions that he's making for you, y'all, with this justice, these are very wise and conscience decisions that is not just only for himself. It is honest and fit. It's like um truthful. It's like um y'all talk about things and he literally listens. All right. By him doing that, you love him a lot. It says y'all love one another deeply. And by you allowing him, you know, like a woman, and it might be difficult for you, right, to trust him. But as long as he keeps making justified justice, justified decisions, all right. That makes you proud. That makes you be more in your feminine energy, not having to do so much, not having to rely on all the decision makers as a woman. You could be doing something else like cooking. I don't know, having babies. Okay, What else? What else, what else would we want to do as a feminine? Go out every day? No, you could be a feminine and you could live life so abundant by being just embedded in your femininity. So y'all love one another deep, deeply because you could finally be a woman. You could finally have as much kids as you want because somebody don't care. As long as you're happy. Go ahead. All right. You finally got somebody that is stern, that is a boss, that is in authority. What they say really goes. Okay. Nobody ain't playing with y'all. Nobody ain't playing with this family. Okay. All right. Um, and most importantly, a happy wife is a happy life. A happy woman, all right, is a happy family. Okay. Literally, I'm um, expect a lot of flowers and a lot of children. All right, as you as these weeks unfold, just expect a lot of conversations. Expect the energy of you feeling like somebody want to have multiple children. It's gonna get you really happy. And this is the season of being a princess. All right, passenger princess, a princess to your to your frog. Okay, a princess to your king, emperor. All right, somebody that knows how to treat a lady. All right, I'm also seeing that he's gonna get flowers to the kids too. This is your divine masculine locked in. Masculine and feminine energy, Venus and Mars. All right, when you're talking about Mars, you're talking about somebody that is fighting their own demons. All right, you're talking about somebody that is prepared, all right, to protect, shield, and provide because they've been a warrior. All right, but just because you are a warrior, that don't mean you got to live your life in survival mode. And that's why it's important to have a good feminine by your side. All right, you take him out of that warrior mentality for a little bit. You take him out of that survival mode and bring him back into home and peace and comfort and love. Okay.
Spirit, give me more on what to expect for this energy and this um, divine union. Okay? We already know it's a lot of kids, a lot of lovemaking. All right? Even adopting. All right? Just having you happy because you are a woman. You got a good man right here. All right? And it's all because his decision matters. His ruling matters. You know what I'm saying? If he's telling the kids to go upstairs, go upstairs. You're not... You're not interacting you're not engaging you're not in a relationship with a man that makes decisions off of ego all right this is a man that's not gonna be mean to your children just because he's a he's the man in the house this is somebody that's gonna love them unconditionally because they love you unconditionally it's just how it goes all right this is a man that feels comfortable with making decisions surrounding the children because they living in the house too all right they the dad too all right this is somebody that feels good, like, you know, my, my person, listen to me, all right? The kids listen to me. It's no disrespect in the house because we all respect one another, all right? You respect this man's words. A lot of men don't feel like that, let alone in their family. I feel like the whole family respect them, and that's what makes a man confident and leading. When you got children that respects them, you know, and I'm not talking about just doing anything that they say, all right? In order to get respect, you have to earn it. So this is somebody that earns your family's respect. This is somebody that did things that nobody else has done to earn your respect, to make you feel safe and them leading that household, all right? And them children listening to them as a dad or a father figure, okay? So y'all lock in because ain't nothing that you feel that this man um, gonna do to put you in anything because his decision makings surrounding the family as a whole has been unmatched all right and when again when a man feels like that when a man is building a legacy surrounded by a respectful woman all right a nurturing woman a smart and talented hard-working woman children that actually listen and that don't want to be rude all right that can express their feelings without being rude, you know, express their dislikes and stuff without being rude, all right, that man is going to provide for that family like no other because they, they words matter. Again, telling a child to go upstairs or telling a child the right thing to do, all right, is not bad. Sometimes you need discipline. Thank you, spirit. So this man will be adding discipline. We all need, oh, sorry, y'all. We all need, damn, okay. This man like your breast, okay? But we all need discipline. Like, we could be the best mothers to our son, right? But in all reality, they, they do need their they dad. They need their dad for that discipline role, that masculine energy. We cannot do that. And the more we think we can is the more we pulling ourselves out of feminine energy. All right, the more we feel like our children can be disciplined by a good man, all right, is the more we pulling ourselves out of feminine energy. And is the more when a, more, when a man be like, you know what, do it yourself. I ain't fucking with those kids. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that all of y'all as a whole respect his decision, all right, y'all not argue with that man. Y'all know that that decision was best for us. All right, are you going to argue with um, a bodyguard? All right, you're not going to argue with a bodyguard if that bodyguard is telling you to get in the car. You're not going to argue with that bodyguard when that bodyguard is telling you to go upstairs because you know that that bodyguard has been put in your life to protect you. All right, this man has been put in your life as a father figure. All right, a husband, somebody that is going to love you and your children unconditionally and make sure. This is a, a choice to make sure that you loved and everything around you is loved because that's how they feel loved. That's how they're able to do what they got to do. And a man that feels respected in the household, all right, that family going to be happy. I'm telling you, that wife going to be happy because she's not coming out of her way, all right? Anything that that man say, she already knows it's going to be done in the right way. Anything that she needs and she asks, she knows that that man is going to do it. That takes a lot off of us as a woman and not all the time we get a man like that but if you get a if you get a man that is willing to learn how to lead you if you get a man that is willing to um learn how to love your kids and just learn all right then you will start trusting them you gotta you gotta release control a little bit all right so he's a leader he's leading the family 
So that way y'all could just be happy. Look, boss. Boss. Ace of Pentacles. This man provides. Oh, Ace of Swords. Family. Oh. Y'all. Did you y'all see this? You got divine masculine. This is an emperor. This is a father. The empress is the mother. The masculine is the father. He is the father figure in that household. He is the man of the house. All right? And he makes the decisions when it comes to serious things. And everybody listen because the decisions that he's been making moving forward has not been wrong. All right? This man is ready to provide. All right? They ready to provide emotionally, financially, physically, mentally. They ready to give. They ready to offer. They are ready to lead correctly. They feel confident. They feel like a boss in that family. All right? They feel highly respected. And that's giving them the confidence that they need to apply pressure with the family. All right? You got a whole man out here that's leading, that's providing. All right? And this is words. This is thoughts. This is like decisions. All right? This is a very good decision making when it comes to finances too. All right? So it's giving princess treatment. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups. What you need, baby? Tell me what you need and I'm going to bring it to you. Oh, you need anything? Tell me. I got you. As long as you're happy, as long balloons, you want balloons, I got you. You want flowers to decorate the front yard, I got you. You want, you want me to stay in the house? You want me to wash the kids so you could do what you want to do? You want me to wash the kids while I give you money to shop? Just tell me, swords, what you need. Because I like when you treat me like this. I like when I see you like this. It's something about happy wife, happy life, and a man that wants to do that. Okay. So, um, this, anything you want, as long as you stay like this, fulfilled on a soul level, anything you want, you will get from this man. All right. You got somebody that got it. You got somebody that got it. You're not going to have to ask twice. All right. Your shoe fits this person's lifestyle. All right. Your energy. Okay. This story, this, this, this. You receiving everything you want from a man. You receiving your man. Happy wife, happy life is the shoe that is fitting you right now. That's Cinderella story, all right? Because this is your Cinderella season. Anything that you ask for, Ace of Swords, is straight manifesting Ace of Pentacles. This is like you asking, you talking, you confessing, you're relating, you're communicating, and then boom, physical manifestations, okay? As long as you stay happy, they are happy. As long as you continue to have confidence in them making the decisions for your family. It's big for them. Okay? Literally. Look. Nine of Pentacles. Because they know that you well off by yourself too. You're not coming in as a lead. If anything happens, you know, because anything can happen. You're still able to help him out. You're still able to hold the fort down by yourself. That's the thing with you. It's not that you coming in and you don't have nothing to fall back on. Because if a man has provided for you and get anything you want as long as you're happy, what happens if something go wrong and he needs you? You got it. If something go wrong and he needs you financially, mentally, anything, you got it. All right? You got enough to take care of what, what can't be taken care of until he can. And that is the art of co-creating and really working with your partner and allowing them and trusting them. Okay? So you and your nine of you are receiving. There's nothing that you don't want. The nine of pentacles, you see her arms open like you are in divine feminine energy receiving and allowing. Congratulations. This is your true sin. <gasps> Look, y'all, the four of wands to the nine of pentacles. Y'all, this man is going to give you everything. This man does not want you to be deprived of nothing. Get out here. This man does not want you deprived of nothing. They want you just to be happy. You know why? Because they love the way you lead in that household. They love the way you lead in that divine feminine energy. See, when you get treated good by your man, all right, when you feel content and having kids and just happy with one man, all right, you're the real leader. 
it may seem to others that what he say goes because yeah all right he's the decision maker he's the emperor he's injustice he's everything he say is justified i'm not doubling back with my man all right he knows what's best for me and mine but you're really leading the relationship people don't see that all right he's allowing you to lead in certain things it's like a submissive woman all right a woman that knows her place all right a woman that is not allow him to allow her man to make the decisions all right whether if it's harsh or not okay because she trusts him is the real leader so you got to go on expect what's to unfold and what's to about to come um, unfold and what's to come for you is literally princess treatment anything you want you can have as long as your womb is fertile and you stay pure okay a happy wife, a happy life. This is your divine masculine. Okay? Nothing but love and a whole lot of children. And you just being taken care of by a boss. <laughs> Literally. So that's what I have, you guys. I love you and congratulations.